Welcome to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be replacing the main cable for the Ender 3 S1 Pro. Same for the S1 or the S1 Plus. But this cable is like a main flaw in this design of this printer. It has a tendency to crease right here as you can see. It just folds right over and whenever the printer goes all the way to the right you can see it, it makes it worse because it forms this little 45 degree angle here and that just puts stress right on this connector now they tried to put some tape on here i guess to make it better you know more resilient i guess uh, but it, it over time this thing just wears out and you know it, it stops working so someone out there on the internet decided that this was a better fix for it which is this little uh, shell that you can print up and you place it on here and that prevents it from kinking. Um, don't know why uh, Creality didn't come up with that, but anyway, so we're going to be replacing this cable uh, here. It's a pretty easy job. And unfortunately, I think anyone with one of these printers is going to have to do this. So. Let's go ahead and get to it. So this is the parts kit that we're going to be using today. This has all of the cables that are necessary for this printer. A whole bunch of them in here. All right, let's get this open. Okay, so here's the contents of our kit. We have our cable for our display. We have our breakout board cable. This is for our motors. And this is our main cable that we're actually going to be replacing today. The other cables are fine. There's your part number. Let's get it in. Okay, so first things first, we need to remove this cable. So you just push these two levers and then it sits inside of this little channel. We got to get it out of that. So it just pops right out. But pulling this out of this track, there we go. Move it on. Okay, so next we need to disconnect our X motor and we need to disconnect our end stop. And that's all we got to disconnect for this cable. Okay, first things first, let's remove these four screws. Okay, with those screws out, now we need to remove these long screws you want to take out the inner one leave the outer one attached don't mess with it just remove the inner one it holds the base on the outer one holds your upright where it is okay so now that our screws have been removed let's go ahead and move this cable here so that we don't tear it and then we can go about pulling off our plate. And then we're gonna, we're gonna be careful pulling it off because you have a fan attached. There we go. Moving on. Okay, so I went ahead and disconnected my uh, fan so I could move the cover out of the way. You just pull it right off, no biggie. Now we're gonna be removing our cable here. You can see the big black cable here. We've got to pull off these little tabs. They're just held on with little clips, but be careful with them so that you don't break them. And then we've got a couple of uh, little zip ties we gotta deal with. Then we can just pull it off. Now there's a little bit of glue on here we're going to have to get rid of too. Okay. 
So we've got our cable holder off. You can see it here, it's a Creality holder. They're using these a lot now. Um, kind of a neat little design. Works pretty easy, just make sure you don't break it. If you do, you can find another one and print it out. Now they put glue on here to keep it secure during travel, you know, for shipping. And ours is held on really, really tight. You could try yours, it might come out. You might get lucky, but I'm gonna to have to remove this glue. Now, you can kind of heat the glue up uh, a little bit. It's easier to pull off, um, hair dryer, whatever. I'm just gonna yank it with these pliers. That normally works if I can actually get a grip on it. There we go, it just pulls right out. And let's get the other bit. Now be very, 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 very careful. go so you don't want to damage anything with a pair of pliers in here but now the cable should pop right out like I said yours might just pop right out without having to mess with glue mine I could not there we go now these are keyed so they'll only go in one way and here you can see some more of that glue let's move on to the next step all right so here's our cable that we're going to be putting in. Let's go ahead and get it unraveled and ready to go. And like I said before, uh, this cable is keyed, meaning that it'll only go in in one way. You can see here, there's your key. There's your notch. So there's no worries about putting it in backwards. Make sure your slot is clean and just put that guy in there. And now we're gonna to need to route our cable back, put it pretty much like it was. Get this guy in here. And we'll put our zip tie back on and put our little clamp on here. Okay, I got everything buttoned back up. You know, we've got our uh, fan connected again. And here's our zip ties back on. And here we have our clip. Now with this, you need to make sure that you can reach this boss down here because your screws have to go in. So make sure you, you clearance that. All right, so now we've got our screws back in. And like I said, if, if you have problems getting these screws in, uh, you go back and check that you have space for your cable and then put in your other four screws and you're good to go. Okay, so now that our cable's installed, let's go ahead and plug back in our X motor. and plug back in our end stop. If I can get it in there. There we go. All right, and moving on. All right, we're in the home stretch now, so we just need to plug in our cable. And we need to fit it through our little holder. Spin it a little bit, get it in there. Put it down and our clips should compress on their own as we push it down. There we go, make sure they're tight. All right, that's job done. All right, so let's go ahead and put our last piece on here. This is the little shell that we printed out to hopefully prevent this from ever happening again. You just slide it on at a 45 degree angle and it just slides right on this cable. It's a really nice holder. 
prints really easy. Slide it down on there. Now we want to make sure that our range of motion is still good. So here we want to make sure that that plastic is not going to hit our bar. We look pretty good there. Now let's come over to the other side. And you can see how it isn't. I need to pull this over a little bit more. There we go. I'm not a big fan of this holder they have on the back here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, test for functionality. Turn this guy on. All right, let's uh, flip our power switch. There's goes our probe. Let's go ahead and tell this guy to home. And if we did everything right, it's going to work. Lucky there. Now, obviously, I'm just doing a simplified test on here. You're going to need to make sure that your heater works, that your fans work. You know, all of that functions correctly, as it should. But, you know, go ahead and run through some type of test. Print something. But, anyway, it's a pretty simple task. And, unfortunately, I think everybody's going to have to do it. So, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And, uh... As always, happy printing.